So I just returned from a week-long bike trip across the state of Iowa where we rode 540 miles and we stayed in tents. And one of the towns that we stayed in tents at a campground was Coralville, Iowa. And on the night that we were there, we had pitched our tents and a storm rolled through. So the sirens go off and we're all informed that we need to head inside to a local public building with a thousand other people, many of whom had not showered and it was pretty nasty and stinky and humid. And, and so we're in there watching the storm come through and it was about an hour of lightning that we could observe. And then after the lightning, the wind came and the storm came and the rain came. And, and then after that, after the storm blew by, we had to all go out and find our tents and find our belongings as they had been blown across the field. And then later in the morning, when we woke up around 4 a.m. to start packing up our tent, just at the slightest light that was beginning to show, before the sun even came up, we could see a rainbow. We could see a rainbow in the sky. And I share that with you because I don't know if you find yourself in the middle of a storm today. You see, rainbows don't show up on sunny days. When everything's good, there aren't rainbows in the sky. When all of July here in Arizona, when it was 100% sun, we didn't see rainbows. Because you don't need reminders when everything's good. When do you need reminders? When you're in the eye of the storm. When you're in the middle of a storm. You might find yourself in the middle of a storm today. Where something's not going well. A, a broken relationship. A loss of a job. There's a problem, there's conflict, either the result of sin or moral imperfection or whatever the reason is, there's, there's a storm you're going through. And a couple of things related to that. Number one, the storm is not as bad as it could be. Know that the storm that you're in, the storm is not as bad as it could be. Why? Because number one, there's no condemnation for those in Jesus. If you find yourself in Jesus today, if you've given your life to Jesus, there is no wrath and there is no judgment being poured out on you. What you're experiencing is, is difficult and it's hard, but it's not as bad as it could be. And number two, I want you to know that on the other side of the storm, there's a promise. The other side of that storm is a symbol. And the other side of that storm is a, is a rainbow. And the translation in Hebrew is actually called a war bow. A war bow. I want you to think about when you see a rainbow in the sky, where is that bow pointed toward? It's not no longer pointed toward earth. The wrath and that judgment does not come to earth. Where is it pointed? It's pointed at something else or more specifically at someone else. In Isaiah 53, that chapter tells us that Jesus took the arrows that were intended for you and I. That no longer will God pour out his wrath and judgment on those who are in Christ, for there is no condemnation. So the storm that you're in today, hold out hope that there's a promise on the other side of that. And that promise of the rainbow is full of grace. It's full of mercy. Jesus took the lightning so you and I could experience the rainbow. So you and I might experience the beauty of God the goodness of God, even in the midst of the storm. You can't experience the beauty of the rainbow without experiencing the difficulty of the storm. There are not storm, there, there are no rainbows on sunny days, right? Rainbows only show up after the storm, after the, the wind and the power of the rain coming down and the lightning. God takes the lightning, so you and I might experience the beauty of the rainbow. So my prayer for you today is hold out hope that the storm will not last forever. The storm will pass, and God's promise is awaiting through the sign and through the symbol of a rainbow. Let me pray. And God, for those of us who find ourselves in the midst of a storm, where it's dark, it's cloudy, we're not sure how we'll get through it. We pray, God, for your grace, for your provision, for your perseverance, for your patience. Pray for all of those things. And we hold out hope knowing there's a 
It's a symbol and a promise waiting for us on the other side. God, we thank you that your rainbow is not pointed at us, but Jesus took those arrows on our behalf. And that's, that's the gospel, and that's good news for us today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll look more specifically at Genesis chapter 9 this week as we continue on in our series, Jesus in Genesis. I'll see you there.